working so well for you tonight? Um, fastball command. I think uh, I didn't really have the best feel for the other offerings. Um, so being able to go in, out, and up with the fastball really helped. So were some of those adjustments you talked about, I guess it was yesterday, um, about the, some of the stuff you want to work on your bullpen, like how much of that came to fruition tonight? Yeah, um, I think a little bit. I threw some quality sliders, um, landed a couple curveballs, um, and then the fastball command was what I expected. Um, I think it was it was pretty good, and then being able to showcase the curveball later in the game helped. If it weren't for the weather delay, would you have come back out for the seventh? Yeah, yeah, I was uh, pretty upset when there was lightning. Um, <laughs> I tried to keep myself going, and then they told me to stop. So, yeah. The, the double play in the first inning, to kind of mm. really just kind of gave you momentum. It was massive, just for the pitch count deal. Um, I think I was only at. 78 at the end, um, so I could have kept going, but yeah, that was that was huge. Talk about not landing some of the pitches you wanted to. Talk about the mental kind of hurdles you have to go through as a pitcher. Mm -hmm. you know, hey, this is working. This is not one of those conversations like in between the dugout. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I think when you when I don't land um, a slider, slider, then they're just ambushing fastball. Um, I think that last inning, that last guy, I didn't land the slider, and then I just beat him with the fastball. Um, but I think in the future that someone might put that one in play because they know I'm not landing anything else. Um, so just being able to land those early in the game um, for the future is going to be really beneficial. Do you have a goal of how many percentage of strikes you want to throw? You threw like 68% 60, 60 tonight. Yeah, just over 65. I think 70 would be awesome. Um, it's difficult to do, but over 65. I guess in terms of that, off-speed pitch command, is that something that maybe you talked with Yeski about it before you take them out for mm -hmm. the first time during the game, but like, is that something that you want to throw in the first two or three pitches just to kind of see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think me and me and Coach have a lot of conversations throughout the game, um, kind of just telling him what's on and what doesn't feel right. Um, and, you know, I'll shake to whatever pitch is most comfortable. Um, and then just being able to get those early in the game really helps the fastball a, a ton. What did you see from the bullpen? What made them pretty successful tonight after you? Yeah, just strikes. I think um, Gavin was really good, um, just fell behind. And then um, Griffin came in and did what he's doing. So I thought they were really good. As a team, how big was this win to set the tone for the weekend? It was massive. Um, I think me pitching on Fridays, today, Thursday, it's really just setting the tone. Um, and getting that win, so today was really big. Even with the delay, could you tell everybody was still kind of still focused and in it? I mean, like, yeah, let's just sit back out and play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were we were just waiting and waiting, but um, it worked out. What did you guys do during the delay to kind of you know keep your bodies warm and you know stay in a competitive mindset? Uh, I'm not too sure. I was in the weight room. Um, I'm pretty sure they were probably just in the clubhouse or eating. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two more for Gage. Obviously, I mean, this team has two more games. But for you, I mean, you know, obviously next week there's a good chance that you can maybe get the ball. I mean, when does that conversation happen? And obviously, how do you feel? Just maybe, maybe a little shorter rest. Maybe you want to have to go maybe a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can go really whenever. Um, right now, there's a lot of volume I've had. So Tuesday, I'd be ready. Um, obviously, it's up to coach, so I'm not sure. But I would assume in the next couple of days, I'll find out. But you feel like you can get it. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be ready, yeah. You didn't have any sort of like pitch limit. No, I mean, I, yeah, I had no idea. I wanted to keep going. I thought I could have thrown the whole game, to be honest, but lightning. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, thank you, Gage. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Talk about that triple. <laughs> that was fun. That was the first time I've ever done that before. Um, yeah, I think the last time I had a triple was like nine years old. Um, and it was, uh, it was like the big field, but I was on the small bases still. So like, it wasn't. It shouldn't really count as a triple because like I just smoked it to the wall and like all the kids were running. But that was fun. Yeah, I've never done that before, and that reaction was pure because that was just a speed reaction. <laughs> I was huffing and puffing for a good inning though. How winded were you? Yeah, I mean, uh, surprisingly, 
not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Maybe last year's Tommy would have been, you know, I need probably an inning or two, gas mask in the dugout. But this year is a little, a little bit different. So Between first and second, you realize that the ball hit the ball, it kept odd bounce off the wall. You're like, okay, I can, I can take him on the base. Um, so, when, yeah, when I was getting to second, um, I peeped up to the, the center fielder. I said, he's still going for the ball. Might as well take a shot. I already got a couple RBIs. So, get third. Talk about that, uh, the bad Braswell had yeah, being able to have contagious hitting. Mm -hmm. What does that do for an offense? You know, obviously we know you guys can hit home runs, but just the singles, be able to kind of just really kind of put up. You know. Yeah, that's huge for our offense to be able to clear the bags like that. I mean, it's you, you guys seen what we've seen, so it's uh, something that we're trying to do is just get the guys that are on base in. So to see that and have guys back to back hits, it's just it's, it's going in the right direction. Backbreaking for a, for a defense or yeah, definitely. It definitely takes a soul out of you know, the guy in the mound, and you see the guys in the bullpen, too, what they have to come into. Just the whole thing, just not a good situation for the other team to get into. Christian Little kind of jump start. Now. Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, you had to be some, like, wow, he's blowing people away. Yeah, he's, he's definitely stepped up the right way as, like, that guy that we need, and um, he's he's top tier. Yeah, I'm really excited what he's going to do. What's the key with all these two out hits? I mean, just getting the, swinging the right pitches. I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, just hits in general. I mean, the offense has just been contagious um, from you know that turning point, I guess you could say, whenever you guys want to think that was. But uh, that's uh, just you know what it is. How big was this win to kind of jump start for the weekend? Huge, huge. I mean, well, first Friday night or Thursday night win is huge. You know, gets the first one. It's the right way. Um, but uh, you know, there's more work to do. You know, turn around. Um, you know, celebrate. For however much longer, but uh, yeah, get ready for tomorrow. What did you do? What did you do during the during the delay? Nothing. Uh, I just sat there, talked to Alex in the dugout for a while. That's about it. You didn't get any of the taco. Apparently, were tacos. No, I don't like to eat. I mean, especially like like right before a game or like. I mean, I like to eat after a game because I don't want any shot of my stomach being bloated or whatever out in the field. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because like yeah, the the yeah. power and everything, you got a hip rotation. If I feel a little bloated in there. I don't feel like it's explosive on the fastballs. So I just try to honestly starve myself to after the game. That would affect the triple, I guess. Yeah, yeah man, a little lighter out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Had two pounds of steak before, you know, maybe not get the third. <laughs> you talked about I me mean, just the contagious hitting, but just this lineup all together. I mean, you guys know what you can do. Obviously, massive two games coming up. I mean, how do you just say, you can turn the page, keep the intensity up? Yeah, I um, mean that's just I, I think I think you said it. It's just turn the page, keep the intensity up, and we know what we gotta do. I mean it's 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 time to go right now. It's neither or shut up. So it's just you know do what you gotta do and uh, play the play the game and just that's if you can't get intense about these next two games and I don't know what can make you go. So I mean we're, we're ready. I know this is not a place or a spot where you guys would like to be, but. From a competitor standpoint, I'm curious if, if you still find it enjoyable, kind of being in that, you know, that pressure cooker. I hope so, because hopefully I got a lot more games to play. So I mean, that's just the love of the game, showing up every day, doing what you got to do, knowing your job, um, and that's just. I, I mean, the guys here and myself, we've all embraced that, um, and that's just what we show up to do and show up every day to do. Um, so you sign up for, and I mean, I don't sign up for anything I don't love to do. So. <laughs> How do you think the freshmen have handled this pressure cooker situation then? Oh, I mean, you've seen it. They've grown up. Uh, they're not really freshmen anymore, I don't say. But, I mean, the guys that have played every day solidify themselves in the lineup. Um, and they don't play like freshmen. The guys that are out there that are freshmen. So, I mean, I just look at them as another one of the guys. And, you know, just, you know, time to be a big boy and play. Could just talk a lot about inflection points, yeah, pivotal moments that you guys have lost in the past and it determines the outcome of the game. Yeah, huge, huge. I mean, it just you know, just stops their momentum, whatever they gained or whatever they were thinking they were gonna do. Just stops that, gets us in the dugout, and we got the bats in our hand. Now. now we're so that's just that's the the main turning points of each game is just you know stopping them on defense when they do hit something hard or something like that. Um, and that's uh that's just the story of the game. Just play hard and stay low and you know, make the outs. So that's it. What did you see from the pitching staff today that made them so good? Um, I mean, yeah, Gage's been doing that for a couple weeks now. I mean, I would say the, I, I saw it the whole time, but I mean, everybody else saying this the past couple months or whatever, he's been shoving by. I, just, I think he's always going out there, giving us what we need. Um, 
So that's that's nothing new for what I've seen. Uh, Christian's been doing the same thing, and then uh, Griffin did the same thing. So I mean, having those guys, you know, just keep doing what they're doing and being as consistent as they have been in the past month, month or two, um, it's a great you know jump start to what we're about to do. Hopefully. Just a mindset thing. I mean, is it a kind of a trickle down when a guy like that has that big inning, able to get you back in the dugout? I mean, does that you guys feed off of what? Pitching staff can do. Oh, I mean, yeah, you, you guys can feel it. You feel the energy, you feel what the turning points are. Uh, so I'm, I feel the same thing that the crowd feels when they cheer and when they you know, boo. Uh, I'm, I'm out there too. I'm reacting the same way. It sucks or it's happy. So you just keep your head down and you do what you got to do. And that's, that's pretty much it.